my name is Elaine King and today I'm going to talk about glycolysis. Glycolysis is a 10 step process that occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell. It is a catabolic process that produces ATP and NADH. It is divided into two stages. The first stage is the energy investment stage. This includes steps 1 through 5. The second stage is the energy producing stage including steps 6 through 10. Glycolysis begins with glucose. Glucose is very unreactive, and this is why it must go through the energy investment stage. The first way the reactivity of glucose is increased is by phosphorylation. Hexokinase phosphorylates glucose by taking a phosphate group off of ATP and adding it to the 6 carbon of glucose. This gives us glucose 6-phosphate. Glucose 6-phosphate is then isomerized into fructose 6-phosphate. The first carbon of fructose is much more reactive than the first carbon of glucose. This reaction takes place with phosphoglucoisomerase, abbreviated PGI. Now that the first carbon is more reactive, it can also be phosphorylated. Phosphofructokinase 1 catalyzes this reaction. It also takes a phosphate off of ATP and adds it to the first carbon of fructose giving us fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. We now have a sugar that is ready to be cleaved into two phosphorylated trioses. This occurs in reaction 4. Aldolase splits fructose 1,6-bisphosphate into DH AP, meaning dihydroxy acetone phosphate, and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. In the fifth and final reaction of the energy investment stage, DHAP is converted into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. This is done with triose phosphate isomerase, often referred to as TPI. The end of the energy investment stage of glycolysis gives us two glyceraldehyde 3 phosphates. 